Hello everyone and welcome back to Music Game News. Today's video is different, it's a little special. I wanted to make this video just to explain to you why I switched my title from music producer to sound engineer. It's very simple really, I just felt like it represented my expertise a little bit better. So first of all, I just wanted you to, I wanted to show you my diploma. Here it is. Ah, see, it's uh, I got it in 2010. Yes, it has almost been 10 years since I got my last, uh, you know, school diploma. Um, so this is basically I finished the prog program that is called audio recording and production. Yes, uh, I did put music producer before because I do consider myself a music producer. I did produce a lot of music for a bunch of years and I worked with a bunch of artists and I produced an entire album. So yes, I do consider myself a music producer because I produce so many uh, beats, you know. So, but, but I went to school for sound engineering and I'm going to show you now the list of the classes uh, that I took. So as you can see, there are three semesters and this was an intensive year, you know, 12 months of hard studying. Uh, we had four classes uh, per semester. So yeah, the first semester we studied acoustics, then audio consoles, computers and music, and then signal processing. So acoustics was all about, you know, what is sound, what is audio, how does it reflect, you know, uh, with the environment, how can you properly build a studio, you know, all that stuff. Then audio consoles, I was learning more about the consoles themselves, the consoles that uh, you know, record audio, that audio goes through, you know, it was between digital consoles and analog consoles, obviously digital consoles are the future, but yeah, all that. And then computers and music, so we were introduced to uh, softwares like uh, Logic, like uh, Reason, like Ableton Live, like Pro Tools, like a bunch of softwares that, uh, you know, give you the opportunity to make music. And then signal processing, honestly, I don't even remember what that is because it's been 10 years and to be completely honest, I don't use any of this knowledge, so I kind of forgot it. Um, semester two, recording techniques. There you go. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, you know, just they showed us how to record properly uh, music, you know, in the studio, how to put microphones, you know, on top of a, a drum kit, for example. Uh, introduction to electro techniques. See, I don't even remember what that is either. Aesthetics of music. I think that one was boring, you know, it was really just being in class and just learning about uh, the history of music, I think something like that. Sound design. Now, sound design is awesome because it was more about the conception of audio, you know, so what they had us do is pretty crazy. Uh, at the end of the semester, they gave us a silent uh, movie. And in our case, it was WALL-E, you know, the Disney movie WALL-E. They gave us 10 minutes of that movie silent. And they were like, okay, um, it is your job to uh, fill it up with audio. So you have to come up with the music. You have to come up with the sound effects. You have to come up with voices everything so they asked us to be as creative as possible and i have to admit it was a lot of fun we were three guys and we killed it we, it was the best when we finished they were like from now on this is going to be the example that we show to our future students because wally uh, oh by the way big shout out to Joel because she also helped us with the uh, music of the of the um, of that clip you know because she has a very good ear and she made some beautiful melodies for it um, but yeah it was a lot of fun we actually went in montreal to record sound effects you know it's called folly and we you know took microphones with like uh, mufflers like it's called like a dad cat thingy that you put on top of a, of a microphone so that you don't pick up the 
the ambient sound you know the 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 hiss the wind and stuff like that but yeah it was freezing in montreal minus 15 degrees and we had to go out and record all these sound effects so yeah this is all part of a sound engineer journey but like i said you know i haven't done that in forever so i barely remember um then sound reinforcement i don't know what that is anymore i have no idea post-production post-production is basically what comes after uh you know recording and making the music it's basically you know mastering the audio and making it sound even better and bigger and compressing it and just making it ready for uh you know the industry um and then there you go we got music industry i hated that class because it was all about it was learning learning about the music industry and it, honestly it's boring to me i hate all that, all that stuff you know it was borderline stuff about uh rules and laws you know that are related to music you know copyright stuff all that jazz and you know how much i hate copyright stuff like i don't agree with that um in my opinion nothing nothing is original you cannot create anything that is 100 original we all uh inspire ourselves from something whether we know it or not so you know like 100 originality is total crap to me um yeah and then studio production and technique yeah this one was very interesting because we had the task to find a band and bring it to the studio the professional studio that we had access uh, at school and record a song with them you know so basically we had to put into practice everything that we had learned during our the, the whole year you know like from knowing how to interact with the artist knowing how to direct them knowing how to place microphone on their instruments to record the the song the proper way knowing how to record it with the console uh knowing how to mix it and edit it and post produce it the entire thing so yeah i still really loved my journey at uh, recording arts canada for sound and music recording curriculum so yeah that's how i became a sound engineer or if you want to call it a technician sound technician whatever but yeah that's why during my reaction videos i love to talk about you know eqing uh, about waves about compression and all that because i spent a very long time talking about that and learning about that in school and when i started making music actually i started making music prior to going to school but then i applied everything that i learned to whatever uh, everything that i uh, produced after school so you're still you know into all of that when you're producing music you're still dealing with eqs with knobs with frequencies all of that so that's why i switched it from music producer to sound engineer i hope i've been clear enough i don't know but yeah it was really a, a nice journey i would not um suggest to people to actually spend a lot of money and give it to these schools to teach you how to do all of this especially if your goal is just to make beats you know to become an artist and make instrumentals i don't think it's necessary to learn about all of this if you want to work in the uh you know in festivals and concerts and be on stage and help out with equipment and all that then yes you could go to school but if you want to just, you know, produce beats, the internet is filled with tutorials and you can do that on your own. And my goal when I went to this school was really just to learn how to make beats, you know. So it was nice learning about all of this. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't really necessary for me. Um, yeah, so there you go. There you go. Uh, Ovela, the sound engineer. Yeah, baby. And again, I'm going to show you my diploma. Well, there you go, guys. I hope uh, I w this wasn't too annoying and it was more informative than, uh, than anything else. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video as usual. Peace.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be boxed for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.